When you mean rich, what do you mean? Do you have a lot of possessions? A lot of money in the bank? Possession make you rich? I don't, I don't have that type of richness. My richness is life. Forever. Richness. My richness is life. Forever. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Melissa, and we love that you are tuning into this video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for being here. Big up yourself. Today, I'm going to Jamaica on my very first solo trip, and so the first video in the series is going to be a travel with me series. So right now, it is 2 o'clock on Thursday, and I'm doing a two-level travel. I'm flying from Charleston to my mother in Orlando, chill with her for a night uh, as a part of my birthday celebration, and then leave the next day, Friday, to Jamaica. Just finished packing. You guys, this is such a last-minute trip. I booked my hotel today. I did book my one-way flight like two weeks ago because I wasn't sure, so I kept doing bits and pieces to kind of amp myself up to go on this trip book my return ticket two days ago, book the hotel today because I'm like all in. All right, so bags are packed and we're about to leave to go to the airport. So I'm bringing you guys with me. Oh, also guys, hubby just gave me a quick lesson in flying the drone probably 20 minutes ago. And so hopefully I could do him or make him proud with my drone work, but a lot of stuff here already sealed up. And then I'm just waiting to put the drone here, toiletries, makeup and swimsuits and just a few other things. And then we're ready to go. There should be no more than 40 pounds. Hi, so this is my first time traveling Breeze and the line was super long. Um, Breeze is a regional airline and they are a, what you would consider a budget airline. And um, if you guys don't already know, uh, one of the ways that we can easily afford to travel um, is by using budget airlines. So we travel Spirit, travel American, we travel Delta, we travel JetBlue. JetBlue is one of our favorites, but depending on where we're going, when we're going, and how many people are traveling, I make the budget around airline, hotel, and all of that. And so it's important to me that we could have a good time while also saving money. And you know what? You actually still earn miles on some of these airlines, especially Spirit. So, yeah. Anyways, it's almost time for me to check in. So I will come back to you guys with some other tips. Him. Only fear God with the fear God I'm in. Been blessed, prayed up, amen. Now I'm getting to this money like a paper. All right, guys. So another tip if you're traveling breeze, what I just found out is when you do check in, um, for your baggage, it's about $75 at the airport, similar to Spirit, but since it was my first time, I didn't pre-figure that out, and the agent was so kind to tell me if I step to the side and download the Breeze app, I can pay $40 for my luggage, so I'm going to do that because I'm all about saving money. Look at this, it's actually $35, okay? That is a good savings. Read all about it. Extra, extra, read all about it. Extra, extra, read all about it. Alright guys, so I just stopped and picked up a salad because all I had was breakfast this morning. So let's get into another tip. When you are traveling solo, one of the main things that you want to do is make sure that your travel plans and itinerary is shared with someone real time. If you're married, that could be your spouse. You want to send it to your parents as well, that's also a good idea. And that way people know where you're supposed to be 
Um, they know your times and they know where to check if something goes wrong. That includes your hotel. That includes any um, airport transfers to and from the hotel of choice. That includes any excursions that you may have. It also includes um, your flight times and so that way they can always kind of keep track of where you are, where you're supposed to be, and be a good guide for you. Anyways, let's get into this food. I have so many bags. Well, right now, after getting the food. And I got alkaline water, because I love that. And I also got a cob salad. So I'm trying to make sure that my energy is always up. And so a salad is going to do because y'all, I plan to eat. I plan to eat. So this pop salad doesn't come with ranch and ranch is what I like. I'll show you guys the salad. Actually I did. So this is a cob salad. It has an egg, turkey, bacon bits, um, blue cheese, tomato. Because they didn't have ranch, there's a Chick-fil-A across the street. I went to a Chick-fil-A and I got the avocado lime ranch dressing. Mikey Mike. Mommy. Mwah. Hold on. I can't remember. You put my panel right on. Yeah, you look cute. Say hi to the people them. Hello, people. Yeah, They're at the airport. Just come from Melissa. And she's looking good. Yeah, Matt, you hear that though? Oh, sure. I hear that. Jesus. And there's some braids different and ting and ting. That's why it looks oh, okay. You're the hair hostess. You know them term the maker? Yeah. <laughs> you know what you owe it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, let me know if y'all remember when people call flight attendants hair hostess. Yes. Air hostess. Hair hostess. No, hair. Hair hostess. Okay. She was saying, girl, your skin is so beautiful. I said, thank you, girl. Look at these two guys. Look at them. Oh, my goodness. And then who is this? That's me. Mommy cooked dinner. I told her I wanted curry chicken and dumpling and banana. Dumpling and banana though. Yeah man. Some curry chicken. Yeah man. Oh coconut dumpling. Yeah man. Yeah man. Thank you mom. I'm going to take a first bite, the flavor of the pepper, everything, mmm, is that pepper tree you have in the back? Yep. The flavor nice here? Mm-hmm. These are the purple color of um, mm. peppers and purple. Oh, really? Or like, so, like, they could wine fest. Good morning, you guys. It is currently 2.30 a.m. And um, it's time to get up to get ready for the first half of my journey to Jamaica. So I just put my clothes on, about to like put some facial stuff on and um, repack my bags. This is what I use. I swear by this product, Tresemme, for your curls. So for people who love their boho braids, 
you need this, okay? You need this in your life. bear for hubby but I really like the smell for myself. The English pear and freesia is also good and the peony and blush suede. But we shall see. everyone that you meet that you're traveling solo. Now, when you get to your destination, one of the things that um, I plan to do and that you should also do is, if you're going in a taxi, on a bus, um, your airport transfer, whatever it is, or you go out to dinner, you always want to make sure that it's apparent that there's someone who's waiting for your arrival. For example, you get in your airport transfer and they're like, hey, so where are you going? Where are you staying? Like, yeah, I'm meeting someone at the hotel. You know, um, that's your favorite line right there. I'm meeting someone at the hotel. Um, yeah, someone's waiting for me at point A, point B. Because when you appear to be traveling along with someone else, then you're less of a target. Another tip while traveling solo, especially for my women, you guys know that human trafficking is running rampant everywhere in the world. And so I was very cautious in where I wanted to go first for my solo trip. Um, and as you guys know, I'm heading to Jamaica, which is home for me. So I feel, I feel okay going home, you know, though I'm gonna be in a completely different section of the, the island. I do feel okay because if there were to be something that happens, then I know that I have people that I can call. Now, for those who are going to completely new places, um, then, you know, one of the things that I think is very key, especially as it relates to you don't know where they're taking you because you've never been to the area and the streets aren't familiar, before you get into a taxi, when you open the door, the back door, whichever part of the door you're going in, make sure you check if the child lock is activated, okay? Now, that doesn't have to be a big to-do. It could be a quick glance. You open the door, you look down, it should tell you which way, whether child lock is on or off. You want child lock to be on the off position. So, that way, if you are going somewhere that you feel unsafe, you have the ability to let yourself out of the vehicle. So anyways, my flight was this morning at 6 a.m. I get to the airport two hours before my flight. You know they recommend three hours. I'm flying with spirit because like I said before, I'm an affordable travel girl. So if the flights are reasonable, I'm going on it, okay? The only thing that I don't um, sacrifice on is my lodging. So I will always spend premium money for staying at somewhere that I feel uh, matches me. So it has to be clean, 
has to be edgy, has to be cute, uh, has to be Instagrammable, hello. Um, so I don't sacrifice on that, but I will sacrifice on the flight. So anyways, we get there and guys, there is about 150 people in that spirit line. Now, it was so many people that it wrapped around to the TSA area. Then I look in the TSA line. That had over 300 people in the line. I called my mother and I was like, Mom, I don't know if I'm going to make this flight because the line is crazy. And last year, she, or this year, she had a situation where she was going to Jamaica. There was 10 people in line ahead of her. She missed her flight. So she was like, yeah, you need to be careful. So I prayed to God. All of a sudden... Uh, this woman was talking to the spirit agent. She ended up saying, anybody traveling internationally? There was five of us in the back end of the line, not even by the counter yet, and they were like me. So she opened up a separate like gate, led us closer into where the uh, agents were. So now I'm like, yes, thank God I made it. So now there's only like five people ahead of me instead of a hundred, right? And so I was just like, all right, I'm about to get through. It's now 4.20. And guys, it became 440 and still no movement because all of the people at the agent desk were dealing with something complex and they were with them for 20, 30 minutes. So I went up to one of the guys who appeared to be the manager and I'm like, listen, if people don't have their shit together, then we shouldn't have to sit here and miss our flights because you're trying to figure something out for them. Like, get yourself prepared or step to the side. So he was like, don't worry, I got y'all, I got y'all. So this old man actually um, inspired me because he walked up from nowhere, skipped all the lines and was just like, I'm not in it with y'all. He skipped all the lines and we were just like, he gets old man privilege. So after he was about to walk away and another 15 minutes had passed, I said, you know what? I got out of my spot in the line and this girl behind me was like, I'm right with you. I'm following you. And there was still the same five people ahead of me. I just walked up to where the old man was. He was about to walk off and had the, hand the gate agent my information. And they were like, check me in. And then I was on my way to TSA. I was just like, I can't. I literally cannot miss my flight because you guys are spending time on unresolved issues. Per person, 20 to 30 minutes. So I was furious. Anyways, got to TSA, got through that. Um, TSA line was really long. God came through again. So. I had probably like 50 people ahead of me and all of a sudden they decided to open the, the middle part of the TSA which wasn't open before and they were doing the dog checks so when they opened our section because people had gone it was like literally me and like there were probably 10 people ahead of me walk through didn't have to take off my shoes didn't have to check anything because when you go through the dog checks it's better than TSA pre-check <laughs> you literally walk through okay so that's how God came through for me today and now I'm sitting in Fort Lauderdale waiting for my flight. Um, I just had breakfast as you guys saw. But yeah, that was very stressful. Very stressful. But on to Jamaica. Going in the moonlight, I don't know where you've been, but I'm glad that you're here. I'm gonna take you by the hand. I'm in Jamaica, it's still early. So let's see what the immigration line and custom line is giving. Because traditionally, the line is always super long. I'm about to switch some money. Do they take 15? Excited. My bag is Everybody here. I was so worried. Oops, wrong one. I was so worried, but she's here. And the vacation begins now. I literally got through all of this 
in less than 10 minutes. So um, a tip that I had was that when you're traveling to Jamaica, the lines could be really long, so you want to use Club Mabe. But I made my reservations a little too late. Uh, it's required to make it 48 hours in advance, and I did it 24 hours in advance. So I didn't get a chance to um, get on the list because they were fully booked. But guys, I literally <laughs> walked through just as well as all of them. Melissa Matthew for Skylark. Say that again. I'm doing good. How are you? Good, thank you. Uh, they emailed me and said they're charging it to the hotel. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Do I just stay in this area? Oh, right here. Okay. Thanks. Guys, I'm out. Got my taxi right by the buses. And this is me. <laughs> we made it into the shuttle, the van. Got the van to myself. And my driver is Jerome. And we're going to find some mangoes on the journey. Hopefully. It's two hours and an hour and a half. From an hour and a half to two hours. Okay. Give and take, you know, considering traffic. The water is crystal blue. I feel you. So deep inside this how you trap my mind. So I'm currently making a stop off in Montego Bay on the hip strip. And my driver, Jerome, is taking me to get snacks and drinks for the road. So I'm following him. He said he has to make sure he comes with me. And it's okay with me cuz I don't feel alone. You bring peace to me, that's why you are my home. You are my ocean. I just want to catch you away. I'm so full of emotion. You make me feel some type of way. Oh yes, oh my gosh! Right. Guys, the food has started! Oh yes. <laughs> I do this little girl, her name is Maxi. Her beauty is like a bunch of rolls. If I ever tell you about it. Guys, I stop for my mangoes. Thank you. How much? $3,000. Three? Okay. Thank you, my dear. Thanks. Have a nice day. You too. Okay. You would have said, I don't know what I know, but murder she wrote. Real, real. Murder she wrote. Murder she wrote. She know about the loo, black and every money man True. Make love for the cool, the Chinese, white man and Indian The wickedest kind of girl, the Miss Apply has buff up and down to your brother Mother's turn, her name is Maxine Her beauty's like a bunch of frogs 